Well, hello there people. Welcome back to this video where I replace my two front ABS sensors. I've had an intermittent ABS fault on my car, um, which um, manifests itself as the ABS light comes on when you start to drive. The ABS light on these cars is supposed to come on when um, turning on the ignition. You start the car and the ABS light in the middle, like the yellow one, and the red one also should go out when it's uh, when the system is uh, doesn't have any faults, basically, and the pressure is built up. That works as it is supposed to, but as soon as I started to drive, reaching 10, 15, 20 kilometers an hour, the ABS light came on. And let me just show you which ABS light that I'm talking about, which is that yellow one there. And it should go out pretty much soon. No, I have disconnected the ABS sensor, that's why it's off. So, that is the fault that I was uh, faced with. And uh, yesterday I decided to replace my two front ABS sensors. I'm going to go ahead and replace these and um, we'll um, clip some uh, photos of it, like um, use my editing skills that I've started to learn. <laughs> so uh, see you in a second. Find some tools and of course I'm missing the 10 millimeter as usual. <laughs> ah, there it is. 10. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how it is. I'm screwing bolts. So what I'm curious to see now is that how it is looking like. It's clean. So, at the other side. Come on. So, I've never been a fan of videos where you see people do bolt by bolt. But uh, sometimes it can be pretty cool also. By the way, that's my new daily. <laughs> Toyota power. <laughs> there is some grease. So I'll clean that out and put the new sensors in. So what I'm basically doing is just do some pressured or <laughs> compressed air while spinning the wheel. That cleans the... Okay, let me see if we can have a look down there. At least I will get a prize for trying to show you. <laughs> You can actually see a bit of it, can you? Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> you get the point. Just a little note. There seems to be a different length on these uh, ABS sensors. Uh, the rubber grommets and stuff, they are basically at the same place where the old ones are, uh, but uh, the length is this much different. Pretty tidy, haven't put the bolt in. I'm missing the uh, the brackets that holding these wiring uh, thingies, but uh, all in all, going up there like that. Three here, put some grease around this one. And now you can see this is here, and the connector is there. So the length is fine. So, final sensor connected. Also got one connected down there. Sorry for the poor lining. At least it is replaced. So now I just gotta connect the, um, I screwed it up once more, the uh, connection for the ABS light behind the instrument cluster. I forgot to put it on or something because it doesn't light when I put the ignition on so I have to sort that out and then I can take for a test drive tomorrow so I will come back to you when I know more about what how it went 
<laughs> so see you guys later. Let's go. <laughs> people Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm back people <laughs> I just have to pinch myself because uh, the ABS light is still off fantastic it's almost like winning the lottery so uh, I just want to show you um, because it's great. <laughs> See ya. Welcome back, people. I had a gut feeling that, well, anyways, I had these two new sensors. I might as well just replace them. But I couldn't finish off the video because when I replaced those two sensors, the fault went away. It's actually fixed, people. So it's happy days, but I couldn't end the video. I'm not a parts changer. I really want to find out what is uh, wrong with the part if I'm replacing it. And that's what I've done today. I um, had to find out that um, the reason why my old sensors were screwing up. And let me just start up with a couple of um, tech specs. Uh, a new ABS sensor is supposed to be measuring one kilo ohms in resistance. My old sensors were measuring 1.05 and 1.08 kilo ohms. My new sensor here is measuring that, which is basically the same as my old ones. Okay, so that led me to think, well, they are fine in a way, but the next test you will have to do is to do an AC voltage test. These are passive sensors, meaning they're operating uh, by a magnetic field, so they are inducing a voltage when they uh, get the magnetism working, so to speak. So when you're spinning the wheel, they induce a voltage, and that is the voltage that you will see here when measuring, <laughs> when measuring the AC voltage. So there's also newer type of sensors. They're active sensors. They need voltage to work. That is a totally different story. So we're going to focus on these passive ones. Uh, so the measurements that I got from my old sensors were basically that I got a reading. And that was all I knew, you know. Uh, I got around 0 0.05 and 0. Point, and maybe up to even 0 0.1 volts. To my knowledge, as a car technician, that seems a bit low. So what I forgot to do after replacing my new sensors, I forgot to measure how the new ones are doing when it comes to the AC voltage. So that is what I'm doing today. I want to see what voltage the new ones are giving me when I'm spinning the wheel. So now I have connected it here, uh, or there, <laughs> down in the ABS sensor connector. It's a pin in the middle and a negative, like a ground um, circle or pin on the side. You just put these two connectors down in the pin and you start to turn the wheel like this. Not very fast, but you can see the readings. They're like easily up towards 0 0.2 volts just by doing that. So that confirms my suspicion, or at least what I was hoping and what I was thinking, that the AC voltage is too low. They're too weak. So when the wheels are starting to spin, the lower voltage is registered by the ABS unit as a slower turning wheel. Aka, it's locking up. That's why it's um, coming on. It is basically an output problem on the ABS sensors, even though all the specs are within spec, at least when it comes to the resistance, I'm sure that there is a, a spec for how much AC voltage it's supposed to make. 
I'm sure it says somewhere, but I don't have access to, to that info. So, but now I got to see firsthand that the new sensors does make for a, a, a lot more AC voltage when turning the wheel than the old ones were. So that is basically the solution. So I hope you liked the video, people. I hope you can use it for diagnosing your own car with this type of ABS system. So thank you very much, people. I really hope you liked the video and see you guys in my future videos. Bye, bye, bye. See ya.